Unicorn Circuit. Welcome to the Unicorn Circuit, your bi-weekly, which you would think means that you do both weeks, but I think it actually means twice a week. Because no, we did one of these a couple of weeks. is every two weeks. Or is it twice a week? There's an answer to this, but I never know uh, what it is. What's I'm, a biannual? Is that every two years or twice a year? Uh, Martin, the point is, is that we put one of these up only four days ago, and now we're going again. Is there a sound that you can make with your face that will instantly repulse all your friends? Hates <laughs> it. I didn't know this until today. Literally five minutes ago, I was just making a stupid noise. Do it again. No. And it, like, anyway. It actually makes me we feel ill. All jokes aside. Uh, Thanking. Is that classy? Is it real? Legal. Sorry, they're not, they're not even segments we have. Is it classy? Man, what would the segment, is it classy be? Is it classy but real? Is it? No, we I don't wouldn't know. Be is it classy? Um, we have news, we have Banking. random meat bag. This week we have an e excellent my crap car. The, the crap car, there's rust. It's off its face. And you know it's great. And it's, it's from over there uh -huh. in the world, which is excellent. Um, we do have, in case you haven't checked it out yet, the limited time only Miss, Miss Daisy, Daisy posters. posters. Autographed, it'll be autographed for you individually and sent to you anywhere in the world. I suggest that if you haven't grabbed one yet and you want to either start your collection or get your collection, now is the time to do it because once they're gone, they will be gone forever. We also have, which we're going to talk about in the news, uh, I would say I'm going to go there even though the Lavorg happened this year. I'm going to say it's the biggest episode of the year. The biggest. It's absolutely... <laughs> Can you, can, okay, no, I, I'm no, not, I'm, no, 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 I don't need to set up to, rules. No, you no. need to set up rules about my no, little, little, no, little, little, because little. If I want to make the sound, I should be able to make the sound. No, but not if you're Otherwise doing you're it knowing that I don't I'm like not, it. I'm doing it because I'm trying I'm to restrict asking you. these people. If you're thinking I'm trying to control you, I am. I'm trying to control you. For <laughs> More not about that in conspiracy hat cat people. You know what's coming. He's right. This is going to be one of the biggest episodes. Um, just because, not this show. Over what? on the main, you're not saying this is one of the biggest oh, episodes. Oh, this is always the biggest episode. That's <laughs> it's unicorn always episode. the biggest episode. It's always episode. the biggest episode that's the smallest. The main channel of Mighty Car Mods is going nuts. <laughs> and the next, I, I will leave. <laughs> no, I won't say that because you'll do it, so I do leave. <laughs> uh, coming up, so I would say in the next, we, should we say 24 hours, it's probably going to be a little sooner than that, is going to be a very big episode. I don't want the hype train to blow too much smoke or All vape. Right. Or whatever, but it's pretty good. Nah, it's gonna be good. It's pretty it's good. Very excited about this car. It's a whole new car. It's start to finish. One mega episode. Mega. Right from when it's mega to right till when it's awesome. Megazoid. It works beautifully. We had some awesome mates come and give us a hand. We had international guests. It's just a mega. It's just mega in a good way, like Megatron. Although he was bad, wasn't he? He had that sound he made when he launched a missile. Remember, like Megatron? <laughs> make that sound? No, don't. You're about to go. Because Megatron had that sound. La, 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 aren't you? And then there was go Star Scream. No, I'm not doing a sound. We're moving on to the news. <laughs> Every week. <laughs> Every week on the news, we talk yeah. about what's going on both in car news and in Mighty Car Mods news. All the things that you need to know about. Uh, just want to give you a quick update on what is happening with the UP GTI. No doubt you are up to, up to date with what's going on over there. Uh, there are some parts coming over from the UK that we found. And I also want to give a shout out to the, the wreckers that actually dismantled that car originally. They're called Statler. Uh, they're not called wreckers in the UK though, they call them breakers. Breakers, I know. Uh, which I didn't know, but they yeah. did an excellent job. Uh, I did actually mention them in the... Um, the episode there in the, des the description, there's a link to the thing and then whatever. But yeah, Statler, they're the ones that wrapped it all up. There were some pieces that we've uh, been missing. Uh, we spoke to uh, a guy that we know who works at Volkswagen, Todd. Hello, we mentioned him last time. He has put me in touch with someone who's put me in touch with someone who's put me in touch with Volkswagen in Germany who has some of the parts that we also need. So currently there's stuff coming from Germany, there's stuff coming from some breakers in the UK and some stuff coming from locally. And once it all gets here, I gather it'll take a couple of weeks by the time we get it get it here, then we will continue with that project. Big thank you to the Unicorn fans because you guys blew up our inbox, which was awesome, thank about so uh, with links to some stuff, some of which we'd already seen, some of which we hadn't. Uh, a lot of those links, they just won't ship to Australia. That seems to be the tricky thing is getting some of those parts. Yep. I really do appreciate it and um, we wrote back to as many as we could and thank you if you've emailed and we might still be in touch if there's stuff missing that we can't get quickly and easily because right now we just we want to get the car working yeah so we want to get it over here takes like seven to ten days at a minimum to get stuff here uh which is actually pretty good being that That's we're on good. the other side of the world uh, i do want to give a quick shout out uh to mighty car mods uh they have an <laughs> they that's weird uh there's an instagram page which we oh, like yeah. to post to multiple times a day funny little videos memey things updates discounts other stuff 
We will put a link down to it below. If you do want to, if you do the gram, uh, then check that out. Martin, let's talk. get into the news. You got the talk or the gram? There's some vertical stuff on there. It's um, it's some of it's original. Some of it's like stuff you might have seen before. But we usually like cut it so that it's like that way. So if you want to watch it like normal, you can just do this. You know what I mean? If you wanted to. Um, I got some exciting news about the Japan Mobility Show. Now, I thought the Japan Mobility Show was to do with like you know personal mobility and, and getting. It's actually about cars. Um, it's not auto salon. I guess it's like a car show, like the motor show mm -hmm. in Japan. Anyway, lots and lots of news coming out of there at the moment. But an exciting bit of news is that our RX-7 that you might have seen in Turbos and Temples little, little, um, is is going to be on one of the videos that, 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 that Mazda's doing, which is super cool. So if you're Sorry, the Japan no, Mobility... I, 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 I just... I want to hear the news again without being scared that there's a gobble gobble coming. What do you mean? So just tell me the news again. Anyway, so there's going to be, uh, our X7 is going to be at the Mobility Show on one of the videos, which I think is pretty cool. So I got a very cryptic email from Major Japan that I had to put through Translate that I had no idea what it said. But it's basically like, can we, can we use some of that cool stuff from your RX7 in our Japan Mobility thing on the big screen? I went, yes. Martin, that's yes, excellent. Can. That's excellent. But also coming out of there is this, the Nissan Hyper Adventure Concept. What do you think of that? Nope. <laughs> That's what I think. So it's if a you large... could buy that from Kmart, I'd go, okay. What's it's... A... So this yeah, is um, no. there's a bit of this happening at the moment. And um, I looked up Nissan News and I sort of already knew what I was going to get. It's like, here's a rebadged Renault. No, we're not doing anything particularly cool. But they do do cool stuff with Formula E. I will give them that. But this is what they're going for, people. This is what's getting wetting people's little whistles at the moment. And this is... Called You're the worst. The Hyper Adventure Concept. Now it's V2X. Now what does V2X mean? It means vehicle to everything. It's about having a large battery no. bank. No, no, that Martin, can power stop. homes. I'm cutting you off. Or local community. Do little not little make your car do everything. Make no. it do a couple of things really well. MX5. You can't carry around 50 friends in the back. You so, can take one friend in the front. Make your car do a couple of things well. Don't. If if, if I say this is the food for everyone. It's just going to be something mm, bland. Exactly. So I'm, Make I'm, it special. From their release, it says, its large capacity battery doubles as an energy source, allowing users to power up their gadgets, light up campsites, or even recharge their electric jet ski. Now, I that. didn't know that all you can get Nissan an electric jet ski? Hyper Adventure concept owners were electricians. In other news, what, while we're talking about you, EV cars... Do they trade in 79 series? What is the and role... And you can get this? That would, be a, that would be a good idea. You want to sell a ton of these cars to tow jet skis around and power up your electric jet ski? You need to have a trading program for 79 series Land Cruisers. Never gonna happen. Top boxes get your bonus put the points. What is the role of a car dealer? Is it just to give you a coffee, shine your shoes, and make sure that they are in a fancy building? That probably, ultimately, the end user is paying for when that price is loaded onto a car. Isn't it their job the to give you like half market value changing. from your current car and then give you a new car? <laughs> yeah, with their own finance yeah. in a very unaffordability way. Um, Skoda, um, that is the, um, what, what would you call Skoda? Skoda is the cat next door of Volkswagen. Um, they're ne they're going to make their next EV for sale in uh, Europe, just non-negotiable. That's just the price. You Ooh. just pay for it. That's the Apple model. Is that how Tesla do it, Martin? That's how Tesla do it. Do you it. say Tesla or Tesla? I say Tesla. Because when people Tesla. say Tesla, There's it no makes Z. me feel weird. Is it there a Z moist. in it? Is there a Z? In Australia, it's Z, not Z, by the yeah, way. We've, we've made a whole video about that. What is the role of the dealer, though? Well, what they're, what they're saying is this dealers, the you just get your 6.5%. That's just what you get. But what they're also, I don't know if this is going to go all the way to Australia, but what they're saying now, and this is the bit of the story that I actually think is interesting, when cars come out in Europe, it can take years for them to come out to Australia here. So by the time I think the Mark 8 Golf, you know, it's that one I remember because I remember waiting for it to come out, and it comes out in Europe, and then years later we get it here in Australia. They're talking about making just a potentially up to a six-month lead time after Europe gets their cars to Australia gets it. This is the globalisation that is going on. And I think actually with the internet and reviews and stuff, when something is available, people want the thing. They want it to be available. Do you need a dealer? Or can you just get on your phone? and order? I mean, you can't actually order a car on a phone. Can you, Martin? Yeah, you can. Segway. What? With a Tesla, right? Yes. But can you actually do it via a phone? You can just buy it on. Do they have a showroom though somewhere? Uh, there are showrooms around. You can go sit in one, and if you want one, they'll just literally go, "Oh, just go follow this link," and then in front of the person, and you download it and yeah. do that. Well, yeah. yeah, it's um. I, I think one. the idea of a dealer is a little bit old school. I can summarize. Uh, particularly when products are, they're kind of. 
products are becoming the same everywhere. There's not that much difference between this one and this one. So other than the options which you can tick on an app, what do you need them for? I reckon I can summarize the purpose strengths and weaknesses of a dealer in one sentence and it goes like this. Dealers. What's next? Is that even legal? Is that even legal? Every week we go through different laws from around the world that have been researched from very <laughs> reputable sources. This week we're on our way to India. Martin, do you like vehicles? Yeah. Martin, <laughs> do you like teeth? Uh, no. Yeah. Yep, hold on. Martin, what if you lost a Wait, tooth? Wait, in what context? Uh, just your own teeth. Yes, I love teeth. Wait on, this isn't working. What if... Martin, what if your tooth fell out? Would that, would, you... that would be terrible. Yeah, it would be terrible. Yes. Would you still like to get a job even if you had no teeth? <laughs> yes. Illegal! <laughs> uh, in India... <laughs> Dude, this is way too early in the show to be at this point. Like, seriously, with your stupid noise you keep making and that terrible, is that even legal that I just came up with? All right, so... Apparently, to be a vehicle inspector in India, you've got to have good teeth. Bad teeth. Illegal. We're not wasting the internet here, people. We're educating you with the facts. L luckily for us, to save us from this segment, the next oh. segment is My Crap Car. My crap car is a delightful part of the segment where we, we, uh, we uh, show you a crap car that one of you legends has sent through. Now, we did do it's a It's been that. a crap car drought. It was a crap, crap car drought, that's right. Not uh, now, no, though. We you have it. filled the basin with we've, your crap. We've rained us crap cars. <laughs> you've but rained this one, down on us like a chocolate ice cream in front of an up. This one appeals if crap cars were snow, we would be like a snow cone. Yes. Catch, <laughs> capturing... The snow and a little, little, you know what I mean? Don't you reckon? This crap car is from Ontario, from in Ramsey? Is that right? Ramsey, no, no, Ontario. I, no, you, he, you know, no, his name is Ramsey. Oh. He's from Ottawa oh. in Ontario, That's which is the Mexico. northernmost part of the USA, northeast, I think. Not of the USA. Which they call it is. It's the northernmost part of the Americas. Yeah, it's, it's very in important North America. distinction. Is that not called North America? North America, Canada is in North America, is not in the United States of America. Apparently, they're different. I know you really struggle with this. But it's important. It's like is saying Canada. Sorry, just tell, like me, tell me once and for all in the comments. It's like saying New is Zealand Canada is Canada part of America. It's like saying New Zealand is not part of Australia. Everyone knows it is. They just want to pretend. No, but it's there's not. water in between those two. Yeah, but they're joined there's, underneath the water. That's true. But there's nothing. But uh, but the Canadian Canadas and America is the same place. Okay, it's called the Americas. I think the reason that we struggle with this people is. Australia is surrounded by water. So we don't, Australia is we're one country connected. and there's that little country it's called anything. Tasmania trying to be part right. of it down below. So I really struggle with the concept of borders. And when you drive between states, which is the closest we get to borders, you just, there's the kangaroo and then there's another kangaroo five metres later and apparently it's, it's a Victorian oh, so kangaroo. So Canada's a state of America. No. Okay. But this is why we struggle because we don't have state like the big... The USA is South Canada. Where it separates different countries. Is I've there a been line? to the, is there, the Grand Canyon. No, Niagara Falls, right? That's where like one side has a Burger King and one side has a, what's the one? Um, what's that coffee place? Canada you guys Burger. Have? No, they've got some other coffee place that I can't remember the name of. Horton, Tim Hortons. So Tim Hortons on one side and a Burger King on the other, and you're like, giant waterfall. It's the we same. Don't have that. It's the same land mass, though. It's the same. Aren't they? It's, this, the, it's the Americas. Is Canada part of the Americas? Yes. That's what I've been saying no, for you weeks. you United States of America. They're not in the United States. And everyone who's from that side of the world now is just going, duh, man, just can oh, you move dude, on? I'm trying so to learn. So we're going to move on. You're dude, learning, but you fall. can learn off the show. Now, now why not? we haven't even crapped the car yet. No, we're about to. Okay. This, this Ramsey my from interest. Ottawa, Ontario in the Northern Americas, which they have called Canada. Snow skids. Check it out. Hello, Unicorn Circuit. 
Welcome to my crap car. This is a 2002 Subaru Impreza TS station wagon. Let me show you around. So this lovely Subaru station wagon is our ice racing vehicle. The subframe has some pretty big holes in it, so it wouldn't pass registration, wouldn't pass safety in Ontario, Canada, where we live. So naturally it became an ice racer because every winter we get about two feet of snow and it gets pretty cold. So ice racing is a very fun way to pass the time in the winter. I'll show you some of the battle scars and I'll actually, I'm gonna insert some clips of us <laughs> doing some drifts in it. Yeah, dude, get it out of here! 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 Let me show you some of the battle scars now. So this is from some car to car contact. We uh, bumped uh, the side of the car against another Subaru and smashed up that mirror. A little bit of duct tape held it up. Over here we have some uh, some rust spots. This is where it starts to get really, really bad. A little bit of rust there. You know what's amazing though? The door's still open and closed straight. Here's a pretty bad rim. We scraped up against another car here. This is where you start to see really how bad the rust is. Just eating away at the car. Pretty grot coming around the back. A little bit of dodgy Bondo work. But the best part about this car and the reason I purchased it was because of this exhaust. So it actually came with a Khaki Moto Racing exhaust on it. It's a three inch pipe all the way through and it sounds freaking epic. I'll start it up in a second. I remember when I went to look at this car, the guy told me like, you can't register it, you can't safety the car because it's very, very rusty. And I, when I saw this exhaust, I freaked out. I didn't hear a word he was saying. All I wanted to do was hear how amazing this thing sounded with the exhaust. I'll start it up in a sec once I'm done showing you around. Here on this side, some more battle scars. It's all in one piece though. A little bit more rust over here. This was one of the worst impacts that we had. We had the front bar of another car go right into the car. smells exactly as you would expect a Subaru to smell. Only has 115,000 kilometers on it. It's all there. I'm going to show you something fun. So this is how you identify the car in a race. Because if you just put the number on the side of the car, you won't see it between the snow banks. So that's the lovely fin on the roof. We just uh, strap it down with some ties here to the roof rack. Pretty standard Subaru 2.5 liter naturally aspirated engine. It's all there. Actually runs really, really well. Over here, we have the mod inspired by the Nissan 240Z project that you guys did. The little tap on the positive terminal. So I'll just turn that, get it connected, and uh, let's start it up. Oh. One more time. So there you have it. I'm gonna insert some clips of us drifting this thing around in the snow. Nice dude, very nice. We're gonna go race it again this year if the conditions are right for it. Thank you so much for joining me on my crap car. It's been a 2002 Subaru Impreza and thank you for all of the work that you guys do. I love all of your videos. Cheers. How sick. Excellent. Racing your I mates go snow on driving. ice and snow. Thank you very much. In clapped out Subarus sideways. That looks like so much fun. It's something we cannot do here. I think you can do it in New Zealand, which is that other state of Australia, but you cannot do it here. I like the rust in the car. Yep. I liked that. Well, I didn't like that you were having to hold your car together with uh, gaff tape. No, not that you were holding it together with gaff tape. It just wasn't the Mighty Car Mods chopped yeah. gaff tape. Hey, here, here I am Click. trying to sell some tape. There it is. Um, but... Excellent video. Thank you for sending it in. Uh, he sends a really kind message as well, saying the show has really um, been impactful for him over the years. We would love to see your crap car. Who doesn't want to broadcast their crap car on the internet? We've uh, made a living out of it. Uh, we, yeah. <laughs> we, we've, we show our crap cars constantly. You can send your crap car to my crap car at the unicorncircuit.com. Next up, people, the part you've all been waiting for, tin foil conspiracy hat budgerigar. Conspiracy hat cat pinfoil hat people. This week we're talking about self-driving or little, 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 little rain fingers autonomous cars. Where are they? What? Where are they? They're supposed to be here by now. Everyone promised they're supposed to be they here. They are here. Old mate 
musky man was talking about it ages ago saying i have faith that by 2021 there will be self-driving cars and at best Isn't they're it because like, they crash though uh i just don't think the technology is there they were supposed to be like level five which is basically no steering wheel you just press a button and away you go but currently we're like that's level two, never going to happen which is like never there's something like 700 australian laws that prevent them from even being allowed to be level five autonomous so there that's that's number one but at the moment, we're maybe at level two. And I've driven some Teslas and the auto... Does level two mean it's got a steering wheel? Uh, and the to door? Look up. There's different standards, but two is kind of where we're at, I think, currently, which is essentially like an assisted cruise control thing. Okay. It does work. Like, I've been in cars where it works well. I've also been in the same Teslas where you, you press the button for a street and it just will just drive the wrong way. In my experience, okay. it will just, it'll just go, oh, there's a gutter. And then it'll stop and go, oh, there's a gutter. And you're like, well, I knew that. Why didn't you? Because you were supposed to be self-driving. You can see them. Can it? Yeah, when you see the overlays, like look it up. When you see the overlays of what the computer's actually doing, it's quite incredible visually what it's what it's getting out of just a video stream. Oh, there's a bin, there's a person, there's a bike, there's a motorcyclist, and it can actually display on the screen in front of you um, what it is that it's seeing. So you might see a pedestrian, it might see a cyclist, it might see a motorcyclist. That's all fine. Why isn't it here, people? I reckon we're not going to see it till 2050, personally. Oh, I just remembered the segment. Okay, I, saw, I thought we were in the news for a second, no. but now I realise we're about to do this. I don't reckon we're going to. to I don't reckon we're going to see okay. it till 2050, personally. Why aren't we going to see it till 2050? It turns out it doesn't work. Allegedly, there's a cabal of people between road freight workers, Uber drivers, pizza delivery specialists, and the big one, the insurance industry, to make sure self-driving doesn't become a thing. So the manufacturers are being paid off by all these various businesses to make sure that humans still drive. Now, why would they want that? Well, humans make mistakes, Martin. Yep. And mistakes cost money. Yes. And when there's costing money changing hands, exactly. people are earning money. If you cost costing money to someone, is earning money for someone else. Usually via an intermediary, which is actually scraping the profit off. So the person who puts your car back together after you smash it, they're getting paid, but the insurance company's like, thank you very much. Martin, that is an automotive equivalent of big pharma keeping us sick so that we keep taking medicines. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you have a headache, you take a thing. What if they went, oh, actually take it in case you get a headache. Oh, take it before you get a headache. Here's a special vitamin drink. Take it before you go out and drink in case. People I mean, have worked out that the amount of billions and billions and billions of dollars of various industries that would just go away, and a lot of people would lose jobs, which we, we've thought about, we know about, that'll all just go away. So the question is, is any of that being artificially pushed in any particular direction? to make sure that it does or does not happen. Now, you could argue that the automotive industry would go, yeah, but we'll sell heaps more cars and we'll sell them. And we don't care who else's industry falls apart because they don't actually care about that or you. They care about selling a car. So you've got that, which is a big industry, but then you've got industries that are way bigger and you've got more of them. So which is it? You have to decide for yourself. Shank of the week. Banking is the delightful art of recontextualizing a product's name by taking a photo of it down near your... <laughs> there we go. All right, Martin, this week, here's what we've got, Martin. Oh, is it going to be good? I think so. Martin, we've got a Glastonbury <laughs> wanger. Now, Glastonbury <laughs> is a place um, in the Northern Americas, I believe, where they have a big festival, Glast a big farming festival. Glastonbury. The Glastonbury Farming Festival. It doesn't sound very North American. Uh, and mean. they wear gumboots. Uh, Sounds like thank United you very Scotland. Much. Uh, Martin, we've got salty balls. Yep. There we go. Sometimes. Just, just just a little smile there. Mm -hmm. Martin, I added the Big Muff in there. The Big Muff is a fuzz box. It is. <laughs> well, it's all in the name, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, that Super there, fuzzy. Uh, that's a guitar pedal, and I believe it's like fuzz. What is fuzz? Well, fuzz in musical terms is a kind of distortion that I would say is normally audibly recognisable. It kind of sounds like an overdriven speaker. So back in the day, you wanted your guitar to like distort, get the speaker cone, cut a couple of... Uh, lines in it with a razor blade yeah. and it's kind of buzzy. Whereas a lot of distortion these days with like new metal and stuff is a very clean kind of symphonic distortion. A fuzz is a more dirty distortion that sounds a bit like... Yeah, thank you, Martin. Oh, that's the big ball animal, Martin. <laughs> well done, well done. I'm glad you're one. cleaning your house during this or your shed. Um, over here we got the cock star. Oh wow! Uh, that actually looks delicious. I would eat that. That thing. Uh, How I do we get well. some cock stars? And look in the back, we've got a chromus flips. I don't know what a chromus, chromus flips flip is. Chromus flip and a cock star. Uh, do you sell cr chromus flips and cock stars in your town? If so, uh, we'd like to taste them. Uh, next up, Martin, we've got two. <laughs> <Gosh>. <laughs> 
All right, and the last one, Martin. Bank of the week, drum roll, please. <laughs> <laughs> you would do that. Blue balls. Nice. Thank you very much. We enjoy being proud of ourselves by bringing this inanity to you. Yes. And anybody a that wants to join us. A bit of lightness amongst the not so lightness. A bit of lightness amongst the noise. We would love to see your thanks. It's a great way of spending a day in a hardware store. Yep. Pet stores yep. are excellent. Yes. Uh, and of course, you know, the various aisles of your shopping centre. There is a Facebook thanking group. Uh, some other flogs made their own Facebook thanking group. Uh, pretending that they started and it. And filled it full of advertising. Uh, they didn't. I do believe, Martin, we have records of our first thanks from before Mighty Car Mods. Yes. So maybe 2006. Mm -hmm. um, look, I mean, look, and the, these photos are date. Not that we need to claim to fame at Martin, but no, we did invent the thing. we did. Uh, we did well, invent thanking in its current right. formation. Yes. Um, I'm sure there's people that no, have put food down near their genitals before. I'm sure I'm not have. saying we invented that. No, we definitely We just not. invented photographing and putting it on the internet. Well, that's, that was, no, well, that's someone else probably did that um, before us as well. Um, uh, Martin, what's next? Is it time? Is it time for um? It's time for. No, it's time for random meat bag, people. Let's eat the bags. Every week on the show, we like to explore different cultures from the comfort of our own culture <laughs> by sitting here and eating food that we get from different places. Also. In breaking, <laughs> breaking news, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago we called out Domino's. We're trying to see which of these companies that are kind of not pretending to be, you know, engaged in the youth, you know, claim to be engaged with the youth. And we're like, hey, is anyone listening? Yes, they are. They sent some pizzas to our door. So the next week we called out Boost Juice. Uh, Boost Juice is a, a large chain store owned by a very successful woman um, and they make all sorts of juices and frappes and stuff like that. I like it. Not sponsored content. Proof of... Talk! <laughs> and so we, we called them out. We have been emailed by Boost Juice. Uh, they sent an email uh, and it says, Hi, uh, this is from Raha. It's like, hey, we managed the Boost Juice stuff. I can confirm Boost Juice definitely saw the videos of you guys giving us a shout. Uh, unfortunately, we're unable to deliver the Boost to you, uh, but we're going to give you some credit so you can get some Boost drinks. So well done cool. to Boost advertising agency let me guess who someone has told is being called out on the internet uh, but well done because this person who is a social media coordinator has managed to coordinate some social medias have you and keep boost out of well you, you won the preventing challenge preventing it from being vtech preventing it from being hint that's a hint have you worked out yet that this gentleman here quite seems to quite enjoy this game you got is there another one um all or right. we're gonna go again martin <laughs> challenge no, you, you know what? It nearly needs its own graphics. It's getting to that point. I'm going to do a sincere one, Martin. A legit sincere oh, one. Okay. When Let me I do the background young, music. I was, no, it's about my grandma who died. Oh, that's not... Nice. Thank you. Uh, when I was young, I was never allowed chocolate and treats. I grew up in the country. My grandma, when she used to come to visit me, and she was just the best, um, she would give me a Snickers bar, and I loved oh, it so much that I would chew the chocolate off the outside, then put it in the fridge. Then the next day, I'd eat a bit of the caramel, then a bit of the nougat, and a bit of whatever. Oh, my I grandma would them. sometimes leave me a crunchy. Remember oh, those did things? She? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and so they were good as well. So and uh, a violet crumble. I, think I, I can't them better. see them without thinking. Anyway. Anyway, when my grandma passed away, uh, I went to her funeral, and what I took was I bought a heap of Snickers, and I put them in a big bowl, and I put them on the oh, table. They were cool. there at the funeral. I was like, nice. they were meaningful for me. I hope you like them too so spur of the moment martin i'm calling out snickers oh okay and i reckon what we should do is when people um when people buy like a cheryl's just boss unicorn people time, though how do we know though code how do we do that they need a code do they yeah uh anyway then we'll include we'll work it out if we can i don't know if we can ship it overseas or any snickers please send us 200 snickers bars wait no is that can i, I do this, that? that you can answer a question for me now as well is a couple of hundred 200 or is it 300? Is a few hundred 200 or 300? This couple and few thing gets me all the time. Yeah. On another topic. People go, I'll be there in a few days. Couple of days. Is a Because cu couple means two, right? So a couple it's of days is two days. It's a non-committal way of so giving getting, yourself an open-ended contract. You so we're we getting a couple of hundred or a few hundred? Here's our address, Snickers. The Unicorn Circuit, P.O. Box 475, Sydney Markets 2129. Uh, this is not sponsored content, by the way. Cut! Penis. We don't even know if they're going to write back to us at all. But if they do, um, in this non-sponsored content, <laughs> penis, then we will see. 
<laughs> then we'll include some Snickers uh, bars in some orders. I think codes and stuff might be a not- uh, Look, if we'll they send us some, we'll send some yeah, out. I'm not going to do codes and stuff, but yeah. if they send us some, they will. And if they don't send us some, I'll let them know they didn't. And if they did, social media for Snickers or your associated brands, are you listening? We're going to find out next week. We'll let you know if they got back to us or not. Email below, get in touch with us. This is actually random eat bag, so we're going to get random and eat the bag. I'm excited about getting the boost juice. Oh, not, yeah, you're not, actually going to get, not, get one? Not sponsored penis. What have we got this week? We've got button, butternut coconut sweet biscuit. That actually sounds delicious, Martin. Doesn't say... Is that your, that was doesn't European. Doesn't say anything about... I reckon that's from Where England. it's from or what it is. Is that an English treat? That looks like an England treat. Oh. Does it smell This is like not coconut? anything like what I thought it was going to be. Oh, Martin, do you not... It looks no, like we a... We sell a, um, a, an item called a Scotch finger biscuit No, here. that's not what, that's not what this is. This is a, same as a nice or a nice biscuit. That's really good. That's simple. That's the Skoda of the biscuit world. Mm. Uninspiring, but does exactly what it's meant to do. And like dries out your mouth like you're eating a sponge. But apart from that, really good. I like that. Simple and special. That is another episode of the Unicorn Circuit. Three important pieces of news for you. Number one. Main... Actually, four pieces of news. Number one. Main channel of Mighty Car Mods. Big Check one. it out. Hit Big your one. F5. It's going to be Tomorrow massive. morning. It's going to be imminent. Eastern. Daylight, savings, time. Uh, it's going to be huge. Second piece of news, Volkswagen up parts are on the way. Thank you very much for everyone that's helped out with those. Thank you for your emails. Number three, uh, the Miss Daisy poster, once they're gone, they are gone for good. They're limited time only posters. Yeah. When, they're not just sitting there with like a printed autograph on them. When your order comes in and it says Johnny or Jenny, we go, oh, Jenny got one. We sign it, we put it in and off we go. And the fourth bit of news, the most important one of all is... <laughs> Lots of cars are getting fixed up, people. We're onto it! It's very exciting. See, See you next time. time. Bye.